But there's a lot of videos out there on these Ford products, whether it be a truck or a van, that have the rear ABS light on and no speedometer. And it almost always points to the same thing. It's the, um, the speed sensor, the ABS speed sensor that's on top of the rear differential. There's a rear differential right there on the top. You have a speed sensor. <clears throat> and when it doesn't work properly, it'll turn on the rear ABS light and the speedometer will go in off. It's held in by a 13 millimeter bolt. And once you get a, the bolt out, they're a little, sometimes they can be a little tight getting out of there if they've been in there for a long time. Okay, so the purpose of this video is I wanted to tell you that we put a rear ABS sensor on this vehicle and we even did the pigtail connector on it and it still did not fix the problem. Uh, still had the rear ABS light on, no speedometer. So what we found is that we have a uh, sensor that's bad. Uh, make sure when you buy these sensors you buy them, the best one you can get, good quality sensor. And I'll show you how to test them. So what I've done here is I've got the sensor out of the car, I've got the new pigtail connector on it, and I've got my multimeter hooked up to onto it. And you can see that there's no ohms resistance. Now if you play around with it a little bit, every once in a while you can get a reading. So if you play around with the connector a little bit, you can see it reads every now and then like it just did. But that's not good. That's, that's not going to work in the car. Okay, so now I have it hooked up to a uh, better quality sensor. This is the top of the line sensor I could find with a new pigtail, top of the line pigtail. And as you can see, it's reading good. It should read uh, right around 2,000 ohms all the time, no matter how you're holding it. Well, that was probably, what you see in there is probably my connection right here messing up. But basically, if I grab the connector and mess around with it right here, you know, it's, it's holding. So that's what you want right there. You want a good solid 1,900 uh, ohms with your, uh, I usually test it with a new pigtail when I do it. We'll put it in now and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I've installed the new sensor uh, in the vehicle on the top of the rear differential. And I also put a new, the new with the new pigtail. And I went ahead and connected my meter to it. And I'm still reading uh, oh, the right ohmage. So I want to make sure that when it's in the car, that everything's good with the connector and the sensor is installed properly. Now I'm going to go ahead and hardwire it into the wire harness right here. And we'll see if it works. Okay, now I've got it hardwired in. Let's take a, take it for a ride and see what it does. Okay, so now we have everything back together. Let's see what she does here. Okay, the rear ABS light is still on. Let's see if the speedometer works. Okay, so it looks like the speedometer is working. Uh, the rear ABS sensor is still on, but you know the vehicle came in for a speed speedometer problem. That's what we're trying to address. It looks like the ABS problem, the rear ABS, is another issue that the customer is not really concerned about at this time. The main thing is to get your speedometer working so your transmission shifts properly. So we wanted to make this video because we had previously put it rear ABS sensor on top of the differential and it did not fix the speedometer. So we went back and ohmed it out as you've seen earlier in the video. When you're doing this work make sure you get a good quality ABS sensor. You might want to ohm it out just to make sure. And uh, we also did the pigtail connector on this one. So you might want to do that as well. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a great day.